皆さんこんにちは U コネクトの朝です朝が弱いって英語でなんて言うんでしょうか Let's listen to this conversation I am Ari Raja <laughs> That's a funny joke You know, I work late at night and so I set my alarm to wake up at like 7 o'clock every day but I'm just not a morning person When that alarm comes at beep, beep, beep at 7 o'clock I just switch it off and wake up at 9 I'm not an early riser at all Did you catch that? In most situations, when you want to say Asaga yowai, there are two ways to say it. You could say, I'm not an early riser. You don't rise up early in the morning. Or you could say, I'm not a morning person. Do you wake up early? Nah, I'm not a morning person. Now, I'm changing the topics a little bit, but there's something about this phrase, morning person, I want to share with you. You can use this construction, something person, in lots of situations, not just in morning person. When you say, I'm something person, what that means is that you like this thing or you're good at it. I'm not good at waking up in the morning, so I'm not a morning person, but I am a tea person. Here's some of my uh, oolong from Taiwan. Don't hit it. I have some kocha from Oitaken. This is great stuff. But my favorite's gotta be dokcha from Niigata. And I'm also a coffee person. I have my own grinder and I'm always trying new beans. I really love coffee so much. You know, I think I can just have it by itself. Mm, delicious. It smells so good. I don't think I like coffee that much. But you can use this in so many other situations. You can say I'm a cat person, or I'm a dog person, or I'm a people person. Yeah, it means I like talking with people. I like communicating with people. Is that a problem? I explain this topic more and have pronunciation practice on a blog post that I wrote. You can get it up here. Now, I want to ask you a very important question. When you're having a first time conversation with someone, this is one of the most important questions that you can ask. Are you a dog person or are you a cat person? No, I'm just kidding. You know, you don't have to ask this question on a first time conversation, but it's interesting to know for each person. Let's practice this together. First, I'm a cat person. I'm a cat person. I'm a cat person. I'm a cat person. Now let's practice, I'm a dog person. I'm a dog person. I'm a dog person. I'm a dog person. Now I want to ask you, which one do you think I am? Am I a cat person or am I a dog person? I'm going to share the answer at the end of this video. Remember, English isn't just about learning words and phrases. It's about connecting with people and talking with people from all over the world. So please use what you learned in this lesson today to connect with people more. If you need extra practice, you can always click up here to get the blog post and practice before you try and talk to someone. Well, this was a really fun video and I hope to see you in the next video. As always, enjoy your English adventures. I'm a cat person. 10 times the energy, 10 times the energy. It's kind of the morning still and I'm still tired. Yeah, in English we say listen to, so that's still the stuck with me. Is this okay? Okay. Delicious. <laughs> oh, sweat stains? Yeah. Oh, really?